Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's uh, 7.30 or something in the morning. I just got finished working out and uh, went for a walk like I normally do and had this thought and I wanted to share it with you. Um, when we realize, when I realize that like I don't need different tools to do different things on improving relationships or growing confidence or uh, reaching new levels of success in business or... Um, just feeling better about myself. Actually, the tools, actually the tools necessary to make those things happen are the same tools. I started thinking about it in terms of like, if I wanted to build a, uh, if I wanted to build a house, what tools am I gonna need? Well, I need some hammers and I need some wood and I need some, uh, I need, I need uh, ways to lay concrete and I need, uh, drywall, I need all that stuff. Okay, cool. Well, but, but what I would really need is I need, I need hammers and nails, right? And I need screws and I need screwdrivers. Okay. What if I want to build a birdhouse? I guess that's the same thing in a smaller context, but what if I wanted to just, uh, what if I just wanted to build a uh, shelf? I need hammers and nails and screws. Okay. What if I needed to build anything? I'll need hammers and nails and screws. So that's pretty simple tools. It turns out that to have happiness and have peace and have uh, strong connections, the people that are closest to us and the people that are one step beyond that, and the people that are one step beyond that, people we don't even know yet, but we're getting to know or they're starting to know us. It's the same tools. That feels really cool. That feels really cool. Cause then it's like, okay, I don't have to, I don't have to figure out how to get really awesome at, uh, you know, neuroscience and also get really good at heart science and also, you know, become a, a priest so I can engage my spirit and, and know how to connect spiritually. Uh, meditation for the spirit, affirmations for the mind um, and for the heart and writing, writing for the mind and heart and writing with intention and writing with uh, a specific way that you write and also changing the story and consistently changing the story. Consistently changing the story and then choosing to step into the new version of your story. Those are simple tools, super simple tools. Best part is most of them don't take very long. So one of the things that I'm uh, I'm really big on, and this is something I share with my, my coaching clients, is the more simple it is, the more you're gonna do it. We, we overcomplicate things. We overcomplicate things. And we get in our heads too much. And it becomes like this road that I'm on where you can hear all the traffic go by all these different competing thoughts over and over and over again. Louder and louder and louder. Telling you all the reasons why it's not gonna work or why you're a failure or why you're broken or why you don't deserve to be happy or why, uh, why you don't deserve to be loved and how it's all your fault. The way out of that I'm not going to say it's easy because it's not, but I am going to say you can do it. I know you can do it because I was a scared, insecure, trembling, fearful, nervous dude that was hiding for 35 years of my life. And I had a wake up call in the middle of heartbreak. And I realized I didn't know how to love myself, and that's when I started. I started the process, and I learned the tools. Some of the tools I adapted after gaining some, some things from other people. But resilience, resilience is brilliance. And you have both inside you. Simple tools, simple things. Learn how to meditate. Learn how to change your story. Learn how to do what I did. It's easy. Actually, no, sorry, it's not easy, it's simple. 
there's a difference. Simple is not complicated. Easy is you just do one thing and it's over. There's nothing, there's nothing easy about life. You know that. So, but if it's simple, practical, it's one thing. Here, I'll give you a simple tool. Use this. This will change everything in your life. It'll change your relationships, help you grow your business, make you feel more confident, make you feel more peace. One phrase, five words. It's okay, I love you. Don't gloss over that. Say it. Look at yourself in the mirror when you say it. Look yourself in the eye. It's okay, I love you. Doesn't matter what you're feeling. You're feeling pretty good? It's okay, I love you. You're feeling terrible? Hey, it's okay. I love you. You practice giving yourself empathy? You practice giving yourself motivation? You practice giving yourself love? Everything changes. You become unstoppable. Seriously. Unstoppable. You got it in you. I believe in you. You're worth fighting for. Be love.